We didn't think that we were hungry or we couldn't take shower because there were no hot water. We just were thinking about uh, are we going to stay alive today or are we going to die? And we were only praying all the time and thanks God we are still alive. I'm Ruslana, I'm staying here in Poland at the church. Well, my family are refugees from Ukraine. My mom, my siblings, sister and brother. Unfortunately, our father, he's a preacher and he's left in Ukraine. When the first day of war started, we hoped it will end soon, but it didn't. And the worst part was that our city, Bryansk, was occupied on the second and third days of war, so just from the start, and we couldn't leave the city at all. And the pharmacies, the food stores were completely empty. People couldn't buy food or even like simple medicines. And also we didn't have any network or we couldn't even call that we are alive. And our grandmother, she was so worried and we couldn't tell her that we are alive. It was so bad. majority of us don't have relatives or friends here and the only people who help is church. The church gonna give us a chance to have future and help us with the basic things. And here's a bedroom, so we slept here. And it's quite comfortable, it's warm here and nice. And we are really glad that church provided us a place to sleep in. Jesus never asked, who are you? What is your nationality? Are you a good person or a bad person? He was open. And I think this is a good example for us. When we are helping others, it's like Jesus' hands will be through us. We change because of Jesus, of his impact on us. And we want to be his hands. We want to be his feet. The global humanitarian agency ADRA, which is the Venice a Development and Relief Agency, ADRA, based here. International, que es la rama humanitaria de la Iglesia Adventista del Séptimo Día. Inside to make use that you have courses assistenciales. Right now, the organization has people in and around Ukraine helping the hundreds of thousands of people flee. The groups here at home are getting involved as well. The Maryland A Group is going much farther, 5,000 miles farther, to provide direct help. It's already providing shelter to refugees in youth centers and church buildings. Adler volunteers cross the border themselves into Ukraine with this convoy carrying supplies. When they said, like, don't worry, you can feel like at home here and we will help you because we are your brothers and sisters in God. They just supported us and that meant so much. 